American chestnut, it was one of the finest trees that ever grew in our forest. And back in the 30s, the blight hit and wiped them out. And by the 40s, they were pretty much gone. And we do have the ones that are growing off the, off the original roots. We still have those, but they get no size, they die. If a forester ever had, a, or a landowner ever had the perfect tree, it was American chestnut. It had all the qualities you needed. It lasted a long time, it grew straight. It was very reliable, the nuts, they came every year because they bloomed so late. And uh, you know, the farmers and, and folks would just turn the hogs and pigs out into, uh, into the woods and fatten them up for the winter. And it was great for animals, it was a perfect tree. And you know, they built all their fences out of it. They built their homes out of it. And uh, we lost that, that was a great, a great loss to landowners and uh, society as a whole. And when you get those times when there's no mast, we refer to that as mast. And you get years you don't, they don't hit, the wildlife suffers. Well, the American chestnut never missed. They bloomed so light that the frost didn't get them. And they hit every year and they were abundant. What replaced those, you know, something had to replace them in the woods was the oaks. And it's a great substitute, but it's not as good as the American chestnut. Well, we were very fortunate in the fact that we received from the American Chestnut Foundation uh, some, some chestnuts, nuts, and they gave us 12 of them. And these are the nuts that they have been developing over the last many, many years by backcrossing American chestnut with Chinese chestnut. And in doing so, they have given these American chestnuts resistance to the blight. So we're hoping that this, this, these trees will survive. I get four here on Greenbrier State Forest. And Eric over here gets four. He's going to plant those on Cal Price. And uh, John Russell's going to get four. And he'll put those, I think, on Seneca. And so we're going to see how they do. We're going to give them the best chance to survive with uh, cages. And, and we're going to protect the nut and come check on them and water them properly. And hopefully we'll get a, get a result and get some survival.